with a yo ho ho, it's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Smash Bros. Brawl Adventure Mode, the Subspace Emissary. Very hard. And yes, I am going to say all of that every episode. So, you know, in episode 1, where I said in that Mario and Pit level, I will have to be Pit at some point because there's a cube I can only break with Pit. Yeah, I got confused. That wasn't in that level, it's in this one. But hey, we got two stickers for that. I can play as Mario for now, I'll just have to make an effort to be Pit later. Suppose I should to show him off anyway. Also, hey, new enemy, this is the Tikkin. That is a Tikkin! <laughs> oh, I made a pun! <laughs> okay, I don't want that bomb blowing up. So, somewhere in these uh, blocks there might be a little of... No, I don't think there is, but I'm gonna play. I'm gonna break every block anyway. No, I don't want to be on top of it. Boom, Primid, get out of my way! Why did we... Did I kill it or something? I didn't see myself killing it. And yes, the subspace emissaries on my characters do die and not just KO. And that's an enemy, Barbaras. If you've brawled me online, you should recognize that enemy because I used the Barbaras as my avatar from my online account. And there's that enemy. We got a... No, we didn't get a trophy of in the first episode. Also, BURING ON THE WALL! I missed that show. Or at least I missed that show with its original host. Oh. Oh, this is the section I need to be pit. I have to go kill myself as Mario. Because I can't get... No. Stop BURING ON THE WALL! Is this really a point of no return? Oh god, no 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 no. No, you joke. Let's get rid of this Barbaras. It's stopping me from jumping right. Oh no, I don't think I can die. I can't die. Unless he can... Come on, you can knock me out really quickly. Come on, I'm piling up all the damage. Boom Primid. Boom Primid, kill me. No! Ah, come on, I am going to get out. Yes! Yes, I died! That is exactly what I wanted to do! Ah! That sounds so weird! But yeah, now I'm pit, so now I can get the unlockable, even though I already own whatever it's going to be in some form. That must be Primid, Primid Trophy number 40. I really own absolutely loads of Primid Trophy. Yeah, even with wall jumping, Mario cannot get up here, but Pit can. So, let's prepare to see what's in here. Lots of stickers, we'll get all of them of course, and the Maxim Tomato. The Miado Maxim Tomato. What did you just say the last episode about plugging? Bloody... Just put it back in the back. Okay, so let's get out of there. I like the whole drain pipe thing that's in there. Oh yeah, hit! Flee! Run away! Barbaras, don't get in the way. His head looks kind of like a fossil crossed with a trumpet. And I like it. I do quite like the Barbaras. But anyways, this section here, it's very ambush heavy. So, be prepared to battle. We'll also see some new enemies along the way. That is not one. The SPARK! All these booms and scrimmage, so there's no new enemies at the moment. I should be reflecting the sparks projectile. Whoa, didn't mean to jump there, but it worked in my favour. So let's get another trophy of a primid. That's the end of the first ambush, but now here comes the second ambush. Also, there's wind in this segment, so I'm getting naturally pushed back. Yeah, this is the new enemy, the fire primid. It's a primid that can breathe fire, and I can reflect fire. And also turn them around, so that's entirely useful. Suppose that's a similarity that Mario and Pit have. They can they're both the two characters in the game that can turn a character around with their spread on the way! I used it very effectively there. Even though a down smash probably would have won hit KO one way, but screw that! Get rid of the blunder. You made a blunder again! I'm not gonna make that pun every time there's a blunder. I'll turn you around, why not? Okay, the Blunder didn't blunder at all, in fact it killed me. Okay, Fire Primid, get out of my life! 
Borberas, get out of my black box. Turn you around for no good reason. Kill the Borberas. That was an accident calling it a blunder there. It's a glunder. Glunder. Use the Max and Tomato and also a donut. Because donuts are so healthy they heal you. Even though I didn't have any damage anyway. So hey look a tree. Also lots and lots of enemies. Including a spark and fire pyramid. And Borbaras! Borbaras! So, basically, primid attack and spark attack! And lollipop! Lollipop! Lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly 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 lollipop! Lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly 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 lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly... I'll stop. I don't think you were wanting singing in a tale of the toast, so let's play. Hey, it's the ancient minister. I'm using you to represent my LP in my one-channel banner. And damn, I just missed the bomb! And damn, I forgot that I can fly! And now I can't reach the bomb, because I still can't remember the fact that I can fly! Of course, he can't fly without Palutena and Kid Icarus Uprising, but this is Brawl where his up B lets him fly freely. So look at all those subspace emissary enemy trophies we got there, and also lots and lots of stickers! So the lake, the lake's a pretty long level, but it's also a fun one, mainly because of something that happens at the start. So that's what happened to the R-Wing. I was wondering what happened to the R-Wing. Also, Rayquaza! I don't know what Rayquaza's doing in a lake. It's not the kind of Pokemon to live in a lake, but oh well, it's charging up some kind of energy-based attack. And no, the R-Wing! It should have done a barrel roll to reflect the projectile, not so Rayquaza is now a roller coaster, except 100% more lethal. And roar! Roar right in your face, and how are you not dead? Fox can apparently survive all that and use a really weak attack to free Diddy Kong from Rayquaza's grasp. Also, dramatic prairie dog. Oh, I was out of time. No matter, Reflector. Fine. Reflectors never look so cool. And that gets rid of Rayquaza. Or does it? Because now Fox is like, come on with me. And suddenly, despite it falling back into the lake pretty much dead, we're now in a boss battle with Rayquaza. Wow, good start. And honestly, Rayquaza might be the second hardest boss in the game. He's not that bad to fight in the subspace emissary itself because being only the second boss his attack pattern is pretty slow, but if you're fighting Rayquaza through a secret other, me secret other method, which I might as well say, my boss battle mode, he can have a really fast attack pattern which makes him either the second hardest or, in some people's opinions, the hardest boss in the game. But anyways, dodge this attack. With all the boss battles mode I've been doing lately, I know exactly how to dodge all of his attacks, even though I've been doing a pretty bad job of it, if I have damage. But no matter, Rayquaza's got about a third of his health left. I like it when he does this attack, because I can just get a clean hit on him. Rayquaza actually has one of the lowest amounts of health out of all the bosses in the game. But he has the illusion of having probably the most health out of all the bosses. Because even though he's got very little HP, he resists basically every type of attack. Projectiles especially, he only takes 0.5 times damage from projectiles. So, even though he's not so much HP, he's got lots of resistances. But, he is down and he twitched. He's not dead still. But... He's dead enough for us. And then Fox walks away, No, you ain't going anywhere, son! I'm, I'm just gonna leave. Nope! No! You thought this Fox was alive? Oh, choose my character. I'll be Fox, because I just did the boss with Diddy Kong. I could have done better at that. But anyways, we're now into the main body of this area, which is very The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past inspired. Not only is it kind of forest, but the whole prospect of you know, switching between a light world, if you will, and a dark world, if you will. 
very reminiscent of that game. See, this is a kind of dark world, except instead of being truly dark, it's just got a bit of a purple hue. That's a new enemy, Aurora. For some reason, I didn't get Aurora's trophy for ages. It was the fourth to last trophy I got in this game. And that's strange, because I have quite a lot. Hey, what is that door up there? Oh, what is it with me missing every few percent? Well, missing opportunities to get 100% in a level when it's plain in sight. Oh well, for some reason this room really stumped me when I was young because I didn't see the bomb block there. And even though I was jumping around and attacking, I just couldn't seem to find it. Which is strange. Uh, that's the way forward with the level and I accidentally went through it. But I don't think we missed anything and we're not getting 100% in this level anyway, so get rid of this Tau Tau and get rid of the other Tau Tau! I'll just blaster it then. Fire, 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 spam, 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 and sausage! Also Aurora! No! Okay, so let's get rid of this Aurora. I should actually explain it. It's got that one attack, it'll dive into the ground to try and hit you. But something cool about the Aurora. Some oh, didn't mean to do that. Well, when they're planted in the ground, you can actually pick them up and use them as a projectile. Now, this is an interesting enemy, the Buculus. I always used to hate the Buculus because it can just catch you completely off guard and then do loads of damage to you. But something I didn't know for a long time, that I'll, I'll actually show off the Buculus's attack. If it's actually going to hit me. Okay, Buculus isn't going to... Is any of these Buculus... Uh, finally, so the Buculus attack does that, it does a lot of damage, but when they actually suck health from you into their poison sacks, they will actually drop a match in tomato when you beat them. So, you have to take some damage, but at first, no, well, I'll show, I'll go through this door to show off what happens. But yeah, so Buculus can do a lot of damage to you, but when you defeat it, if it does manage to do damage to you, then you can defeat it to gain basically all of that health back, except that one dropped a bomb! Okay then, I think it has to do a certain amount of damage to you, maybe that's what I did wrong. But you can get way more back, so you can profit from Buculus, but generally I'd rather just avoid them. So Goombas, so let's bomb them. I'm using bombs wisely. Now oh, let's blow up this bomb block in style. There. Also Soccer Ball! And yes, they do call it a soccer ball, even in the PAL version of the game. But anyways, when you use that block, bomb block, it will make this crack in the wall. So now what you need to do is to go back into the dark world. I think that was the light world there. Yeah, back into the dark world. And now this will have opened up. And there's a switch you can hit. And now with that switch pressed, I don't... I believe you have to go back into the light world to go through this door. Oh, actually, no, that's not true. If you go through it that way, then you will just, uh, if you go through it from the dark world, you'll drop from above, if you do it from the light world, you'll come out of this door and there'll be a Tau Tau to beat. In fact, we have to beat that Tau Tau, so we have to, there. Now we're where we need to be. So I'll just chain Rabbit to death, and we got a Max and Tomato. Go through the door! So this is the first time I've ever really batch recorded an LP. I was always the kind, also look at barrels in the background. Yeah, I was always the kind to just record one LP episode at a time and just release it as soon as it's done. But I think now that I'm using an Elgato, and especially in this time where I'm getting quite uh, minimal recording opportunities, at the moment there's only one TV in the house, because while moving house and breaking up with a boyfriend, my mother left the old TV with him, but we're getting a smashing new one soon. Not to make anybody jealous, but it's kinda 40 inch smart 3D LED uh, Samsung, so it has exclusive features with new ones, tablets, you know, all of 
built-in Wi-Fi, all of that. And it will be helpful when I get that, because should I ever want to do an LP of an HD game, that'll be full HD, so I can use that TV to record on. The TV I'm using at the moment, my personal TV, which is currently the only one in the house. But yeah, that's only 720p. Of course, I'm recording from the Wii. Not, I'm not even playing a Wii game, Wii game on the Wii U. I am recording from the Wii, so I can use a GameCube controller. So it doesn't really matter about the whole... Oh, that's the end of the segment. But yeah, should I ever want to record an HD game, I'll be able to use that TV. Really looking forward to getting that. Loads and loads of trophy stands. Koopa Paratrooper is a trophy I didn't get for a long time. There's actually two different Koopa Paratrooper trophies, because there's a green one and a red one. I think it's the green one that I didn't get for the longest time. So could you kinda not be so lethal? Sigh. So yeah, Diddy and Fox, they're the animal pair up. Shame we don't have Donkey Kong to go with it, but... And no introductory cutscene, we're just chucked straight into a battle with Dark Bowser. I reckon there was going to be an introductory cutscene, but it probably had to be scrapped due to time constraints. There have been some scrapped cutscenes revealed on the Smash Brothers Dojo. I'll explain what those are when we're actually, well, when it's actually in context. So anyway, let's get rid of this Bowser already. If Diddy Kong dies, I've got to do it with Fox. If Diddy Kong is KO, sorry, I'll have to do it with Fox. I'm actually doing really, really badly here. I should be using more banana peels. Come on, I know how to play as Diddy Kong. I'm maybe not the best with Diddy Kong, but I at least know how to play him. And Diddy Kong's playstyle is just spam banana, basically. So, trip, and then Bowser the <laughs> face can hurry up and die. I'm doing so badly here. Come on, let's make a comeback. Oh, don't I... Where are you going? Oh, you're going to get my least favourite item in the game. Great. I really don't like the Fire Flower in Smash Brothers. Not only is it a really bad translation of how the Fire Flower actually works in the Mario games, but it's, it just really doesn't help much. It's just a cheap, spammy item which you can easily evade, and if you do get trapped in it, then it's quite annoying. So I'm finally in the lead. Let's go for a Meteor Smash. No, I'm not that lucky today. So let's just keep throwing the lipstick at it. Lipstick comes from Panel Dipon. Panel Dipon's a fun game. I haven't actually played Panel Dipon, but I've played Pokemon Puzzle Challenge, which is obviously, well, not obviously, but it is based around, well, it uses Panel Dipon playstyle. Oh, let's finish this in style. Just missed. If I try too long to get the swing, it, will, it won't be very epic. So, I'll just give that up. So I technically lost to Bowser. Great. Except this is cheap and I get to use another character while Bowser only has one life. So could I actually get rid of him now? There, Shine Spike. Shine Spike may have been better in melee, but it was good enough for me here. So I think this has been a really long episode. I don't have a timer to look at, but... I already know this one's been a very long episode, so don't touch that, you might revive it! Okay, just bash it and it turns into happy bees. And then what are the happy bees doing? Or oh, the subspace bugs and Diddy Kong just got panicked. Whoa, 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 what are you trying to do? Who is- The real Bowser! Crap! And Bowser just tries to shoot and Diddy Kong's all angry, but Fox is like, no. And just jumps off a cliff with us. It was convenient and Bowser laughs. And that is the end of the level and the end of the episode, which has probably been really long. So, I'm not going to save on screen this time, 